Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, more on the MAPES gate closure, more furlough news from MWR, and a message from the Sergeant Major of the Army. On Thursday, Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein hosted his last community council meeting in advance of next month's Garrison Change of Command. And although his tenure is winding down, he acknowledges that Team Meade will continue to see these changes through. The strength of Team Meade is you, and you've heard me say that uh, often. Um, and the strength of Team Meade is the community, both inside that fence line that a lot of you represent and outside. Um, and we, we are just going to continue to grow this great region and uh, Team Meade. Yesterday, the Directorate of Emergency Services announced that due to manning issues, the MAPES and Maryland 175 gate will be closed for the foreseeable future. Will that change? Director of Emergency Services, Lieutenant Colonel Darrell Sides explain. It is until I can get enough guards hired to where I'm not having to rely on military uh, manpower to augment my guard force. Th this is a security issue. I, I'm thin at the gates and I, I need to have appropriate forces at all the gates in case something happens. While the gate closure isn't directly related to sequestration and furlough issues, the garrison continues to work to help mitigate its negative effects. Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rosting recently met with members of Congress to share information and express what he says is very tough to do, tell good workers to stop and go home. I had the opportunity uh, with some of the key staff to talk to Sarah Carnes staff, but also the other uh, team, Maryland, the delegation staff. And we talked about a lot of things, but that's the one thing we, we tried to really work to resonate in them, that it's the impact in our community of having folks trying to do the best and telling them they can't. That's pretty hard. That's really hard when you got to tell somebody to stop. And uh, that's why wellness and resiliency are key efforts that I'm absolutely committed to until the day I leave to work on this insulation. Wellness and resiliency, the behavioral issues, the concerns that we have when you have to tell somebody to stop. In other news, we do have some furlough news from MWR. As we reported last week, Army Community Services will be closed on Fridays during the furlough. Here are some emergency contact numbers. For Army Emergency Relief, call 1-877-272-7337. For the Domestic Violence Victim Advocate, call 240-688-6918. And the number for the Sexual Assault Victim Advocate is 443-845-0876. The Child, Youth, and School Services facility hours have been adjusted as well. They now open a half hour later and close a half hour earlier. MWR also wants you to know that some community events may be canceled or downsized. For instance, the lanes, the bowling alley has announced that they will open at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Mondays and Fridays. Once again, the bowling alley will remain closed until 4 p.m. on Mondays and Fridays. Back. Meanwhile, some happier news from MWR. The NFL's punt, pass, and kick competition for this year is getting underway. The Fort Meade competition is taking place on August 6th during the National Night Out. Punt, pass, and kick is for kids 6 to 15. Registration will be on August 6th from 4.30 to 6.45 on site. Parents must sign a liability waiver. For details, call MWR at 301-677-1437. Last week, we reported that the construction of the new Exchange Mall is on track. At this week's Community Council meeting, Exchange Manager Jonathan Bright detailed some of the proposed new concessions at the new Exchange. So what you're going to see inside the facilities, you're going to see like the Michael Kors shop, you're going to see the Apple shop, you're going to see a Sony shop, you're going to see Nike, you're going to see Under Armour. So all those brands are coming in uh, um, inside our shopping center. Then we're also going to have a gun shop, um, inside there a gun shop and a tactical shop. So, so very, very exciting. And finally, another reminder that affected tonight, the Mapes Road Route 175 gate will be closing for the foreseeable future. Garrison officials urge you to plan your commute accordingly. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Our Army has confronted terrorism for more than a decade. These efforts have saved lives and kept our nation strong. But we can't let down our guard now. Our continued vigilance protects us from evolving terrorist acts, including homegrown extremists, insider threats, and cyber attacks. We must maintain a heightened sense of awareness and say something if we see something suspicious. For more ways to keep your unit, family, and community safe, visit our Provost Marshall website at army.mil/opmg.